I was recently hired to do the chalkboard menu for a restaurant. We put it up high and out of the way just to be safe because we didn't want anything to happen to it, right? I mean, it looks fine, right? Thank you, boys. Where are we headed bright and early? Horse horse. <laughs> Koei thinks he's riding on a baby horse. Let's go! But we totally forgot that you're doing poles today, huh? So he gets to ride and weave in and out of poles out there in the arena. Will that be fun? Yeah. You got so excited. You pet the kitty, yeah. so nice. Okay, day two, how are you feeling about it? Good. You love it? Yeah. Guess what your instructor told me? What? You're a natural. <laughs> she says you're so good at it and you're such a quick learner and you listen really well. It's good, buddy. Proud of you. Thanks. Coda did amazing. We just ran a few quick errands. We went to City Hall for a parade form to fill out and then we went to the grocery store because I am taking Steve and Shelby dinner tonight. I got some stuff to make chicken enchiladas and Spanish rice. It sounds so tasty. So we're gonna get home really quick to the other kiddos. Oh, you guys, happy Friday. Whew. All right, we made it home. I just uploaded today's vlog, but you guys, for those of you who don't know my chicken enchilada recipe, it's a family favorite. It was Nana's recipe first. This is her recipe, but Cody and my kids love it. So we have it quite often. The Phillips Fam Bam actually made this one time when we switched our enchilada recipes and we both made each other's. Theirs was so tasty. It was like a white chicken enchilada. But you guys, it's so, so simple. Usually I don't cook the chicken in the crock pot, but that's just kind of how I'm feeling today. Put it in here and let it cook until it's tender and I can shred it up. But then once I shred it, I just add this green taco sauce, cream of chicken soup, and diced green chili. So all three of these ingredients go in with the shredded chicken. I am doubling it because I'm making it for my family and Steve and Shelby. So those three go in, you put the chicken mixture in the tortillas, roll them up, and then you guys, you cover it with red enchilada sauce and then cheese. So simple, it does have the green inside and the red outside, but I promise you it is so tasty. All right, you guys, I just bathed Kinley and got her ready for the day. Cohen had already taken a bath and gotten dressed, but when your sibling's taking a bath and you're two years old, you wanna take another one. So, 
So these two just got, well, he got re ready, and she's all ready for the day. You are? Oh, your baby's sleeping. Are you okay, Koei? That's so nice, sis. You're the best, mommy. And you guys, yes, we did let her wear some of her new clothes because she has been dying. She's been so patient just looking at them on the counter and like touching them. I was like, you can wear one outfit today. So she's really excited about it. It is a little bit big, but I would rather that than it be too small, especially because it's for the upcoming school year. So she will grow. I got my baby blanket. Oh, you got a little burp cloth to lay on your baby. So nice. What? You're sad? Why, honey? Do you need a hug? Okay. We have been camping. If there's one upgrade I could make to my kitchen today, it would be a bigger sink. You guys, these are my bread bowls that I make all of my bread in and it literally doesn't fit in my sink. It's so hard to wash it without getting water everywhere. I just did a quick run through of this main living area. The kiddos all cleaned their room last weekend and they have been keeping them so clean. They actually cleaned them Monday when I was in the emergency room. When I got home from the hospital, they surprised me and all of their rooms were spotless. So we've been doing really good at keeping bedrooms clean this, this week. But now we have the whole main living area all clean. Cokes is bummed, his friend, our neighbor kid left. So they're not building their fort right now. But they were outside for hours, you guys. They have so much fun on these summer days. Now it is time to start on dinner. The chicken's done. I'm gonna shred it and mix everything together. <music> little summer storm rain all the water that you can I have the first tray of enchiladas in the oven and now I am just starting on the Spanish rice you guys my grocery store had a really good deal on this Spanish rice today so I bought a bunch of it but just finishing up their dinner here I was going to make them a dessert as well however Matt and Aubrey took them a really nice dessert last night and I took them a whole pan of cinnamon rolls so I don't know if they would appreciate me bringing just a ton more sugary treats but at least I'm gonna take them a hearty meal. How yummy. What does the rooster say? <laughs> Really? Oh my goodness. What do we have for dinner? Enchiladas? Yeah. Enchiladas. What does that say? My house is very loud. 
especially when you got five kiddos hungry and you got a big wood floor, so it echoes a lot in here. You guys excited for dinner? Yeah! Oh my goodness. Cohen smacked his head on the counter. Cohen did, or you smacked no, his head? No, he went like this. <laughs> Cohen, don't hit your head, okay? Hey? He's holding his head. Careful, honey. Actually, he did. He's like, ow. <laughs> this looks yummy, though. Thank you. All right, Code's headed out right now. I got food. You got food for Steve and Chubb. Okay, love you. Please don't spill it. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> delicious you guys unfortunately <laughs> ah, I swear markers are going to be the death of me with our two youngest children gotta lock them up no matter what we do like we hide them we put them up high I don't know how they find them but they find them um, I was recently hired to do the chalkboard menu for a restaurant stayed up late last night working hard on it. We put it up high and out of the way just to be safe because we didn't want anything to happen to it, right? I mean, it looks fine, right? You said it's so heavy. Oh! Cohen! Cohen, hey, did you do that? No. Cohen, did you do that? No. Let's see your body. Let's see if you did it. Let me see your hands. We got evidence. He did. Oh, Cohen. Why'd you do that? So earlier, I, you guys, I had a brand new, like $20 pack of colored chalkboard markers. I bought specifically for the sign because we were gonna add food to it and we wanted the food to be colorful. It had not been opened. It was in one of those thick plastic packages that are so difficult to get open. It was up high on my dresser. I thought Cohen was napping on my bed. Walked in there to all of the colored markers out. He had bitten the tips off of all of them and there is chalk marker everywhere. We don't do um, that, do we? At first no. I was just upset about the markers. I did not even notice the chalkboard until just a couple minutes ago. Baby, hey, where do we color? Um, um, paper. Is that paper? Yeah. No, honey, that no. isn't. You gotta ask mommy and daddy, okay? Hey, look at mom. You gotta ask me before you color, okay? Okay, mom. Are you really sorry? Hey, look at mommy. Look at me. Look at my eyes. You can color, but you have to ask mommy, okay? Hey, mister, you have to ask mom. Are you so sorry? I mean, how can you be mad at him? Luckily, he's the best apologizer. He's the best apologizer. Um, somehow, you guys, our hats for our merch are right next to where the chalkboard was. We have pictures we can insert right here. Somehow he did not draw on the hats at all. So I mean like, he is too. He saw me drawing on that. I mean it logically makes sense he didn't draw on anything other than the chalkboard. But I'm gonna have to erase the bottom half of it and redo it, which is kind of a bummer. Shoot. Luckily though, Kenzie is amazing and just can whip that stuff out like no problem. It actually, like it won't be too bad, but just walking into my room just now, because you guys, we put it up high. Yeah, we put it high so. It was like four feet off the ground, <laughs> on a box, up against the wall in the corner of our room, where no one goes, where Still no one touches things. <laughs> and not only did he like get to it, but he somehow opened that thick plastic package yeah. that has never been opened. He like, may have had an accomplice or something. <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> oh, oh man, boy. no, it will be a simple fix, but my heart kind of sunk to my toes when I saw it. I was like, ah! <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Yell in the room. I was like, uh-oh. I was what like, happened? are you kidding me? <laughs> um, but you guys, I feel like a few years ago, ask Cody, he can attest to this. A few years ago, I would have sat down on the floor and just cried. I would have just cried. 
I would have been defeated. I would have been so sad, so frustrated. And I would be trying to like control my emotions so that I didn't get super angry with my toddler. But you know what? I feel like every day we're working harder on seeing the good, you know? We're working hard on teaching our kids how to apologize and things like that. So honestly, it was like devastating for a half a second and then I was like, it's okay. I can redo the bottom half, but yeah, yeah it kind of made me sick for a second. Learning experience, I guess. <laughs> for sure. And like I said, I mean, he only drew on the chalkboard with chalk markers. So he didn't understand. Yeah, so we gotta go finish that. And I think we're gonna watch an episode of Manifest because Guys, we're, we're loving addicted. that show. It, it's one that when me and Cody are watching a show together, sometimes when I have downtime, like while I'm doing the dishes or folding laundry, I'll turn a show on on my phone. This is one that has been hard for me not to watch without him <laughs> because it's so yeah. good. It's like cliffhanger-y. It. You know, it's yeah. good. So guys, thanks so much for watching. We love you and we hope you have an awesome weekend. We'll see ya. Bye. <laughs>